All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, man, we're going to be talking about the Minecraft movie trailer. Now, this movie trailer dropped yesterday as of me recording this video, and it's already gotten over 20 million views. It's currently the number one trending video on YouTube for me. And obviously, being that it's a Minecraft movie trailer, it's going to be pretty much the talk of the town, right? Everyone is going to talk about it. We've been hearing probably for the better part of a decade at least now about all the possibilities of this Minecraft movie. Now, I remember back all the way like back when I was in fucking high school at this point, right? There were talks then about being Minecraft movies and stuff coming out. But we finally got a trailer for one that is coming out in April 2025. It's starring Jack Black as Steve. It's also going to be featuring Jason Momoa, Emma Myers, Danielle Brooks, and others. And, I mean, let's just go ahead and clear it out of the way now. Obviously, Minecraft, massive IP, massive game, one of the biggest video games in history, right? So, it really isn't a surprise that Hollywood wanted to, you know, suckle a punts to the, the money-driving teat, if you will, of Minecraft. I mean, this game has been an actual money printer for well over a decade, right? And it's crazy the actual, like, length that we've gotten out of Minecraft in terms of how long it's stuck around and how long it's continued to be prominent in culture in general and that's what really sucks about this movie trailer i'll be honest because as you can tell by the title i think this shit looks absolutely terrible man i mean it actually pains me how bad that this looks right because i mean i'll, I'll be honest i'm not typically like a guy who's gonna sit down and watch a ton of animated movies or like game movies i mean i'll watch a lot of the larger ones you know like the super mario movie last year i remember watching that wasn't too terrible actually quite enjoyed that one uh, honestly and then you know the Borderlands movie that wasn't really animated or whatever but it's like a game adaptation that came out unfortunately I sat through that one for about halfway through the movie uh, that honestly was half of a movie too fucking long and ironically Jack Black was also in that movie uh, I'll talk of course about Jack Black a little later but being that I've been a huge fan of Minecraft and I've played it for well over a decade it's been such a huge part of my channel I was actually like kind of excited to see the direction that they would take this in and they absolutely butchered it man I mean where can I even fucking start so I guess the best place to start honestly is just right off the jump with the cast I mean I don't really think Jack Black is the best fit for this movie now I know obviously a lot of people are gonna yell oh but 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 Optimus he was in the Super Mario movie he was in the Borderlands movie he's been great in movies like Kung Fu Panda and, uh, and, you know, in the Tenacious D stuff and in Tropic Thunder and all these things, right? I get it. I don't hate Jack Black. I mean, he's got his good movies. He's got his terrible movies. It is what it is. That's how a lot of actors are. But I feel like he's kind of at the point in his career where I don't think he's putting literally everything he can into a lot of these roles or these movies. I think he's just taking a paycheck. And I think that, you know, in his defense, at least a little bit, a lot of these characters probably aren't written the best in a lot of these modern movies. But I can already see how this is going to go. I mean, we all saw the fucking trailer. We all know what Jack Black is capable of both for good and bad honestly I just don't think that this was a good choice now maybe if it was an animated movie it would be a little bit different and you know I kind of to a degree wish this was an animated film but I just I don't know I'm not a huge fan of this pick personally um, and I think a lot of it also has to do with the fact of you know what exactly is this movie we don't really know it seems like a lot of uh, very confused messaging in this whole thing I mean like you look at the whole thing you're looking at the world around them like the Minecraft world that they fall into through the portal or whatever it doesn't even look like Minecraft right like we're being told oh this is a Minecraft film but we're trying to do this like live action crossover with 3d animation movie where for whatever reason like they decided to animate the Minecraft world which obviously makes sense right but then they do it in the worst way possible like they put this fucking weird terrible looking like quote-unquote hyper realistic texturing on everything they try to make it look all polished and like like fucking fancy I'm sure this is where most of the budget honestly went for this movie was in setting this world up which honestly is just sad because it evokes nothing about Minecraft like yeah sure the stuff is a little blocky and you know the, the stuff looks like it's supposed to be Minecraft 
because it's all squared out and shit, but even then, it just, it doesn't look like Minecraft, because obviously this is a fucking pixelated game, as in comparison, this movie is like this hyper-realistic looking dog turd kind of shit going on in the background. It just, it looks terrible, and then when you put the, like, people in the world or whatever, they just look so out of place, they, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, the movie teeters on the, like, oh, do we want to do live action, or do we want this to be an animated film, when in all reality, they should should have just chose to make this an animated film. I mean, like for the Super Mario Brothers movie, for example, I think that's part of the reason why it worked so well. And same thing with like the Lego movies. I really liked those as I've watched those over the years because they actually like evoke the idea of Lego, right? Like it's an animated film. You can do a lot more in an animated film than you can when you're trying to fucking balance it. It just made more sense. And I think as a result, those movies came out not only more polished and just better overall, but they actually evoked the message of the brand that they were basing everything off of. This does nothing to make me think, oh wow, this is a Minecraft world. This is, you know, Minecraft I'm here to watch. This is literally, if I can explain it right, the exactly what I would expect like a bunch of 65 year old business execs in Hollywood. This is my thought of what they would imagine Minecraft being like if they've never played it. And I think that's a huge part of the problem here. I mean, there's just literally nothing captured that makes me think, oh, wow, this is Minecraft. I mean, the fucking animals and the mobs and stuff in the game just look terrible. Once again, they have this like hyper realistic, stupid look that doesn't fit the theme of the game it's based off of. Honestly, the designs look like shit to me. I mean, like the sheep. I mean, that's the one that's going around all over the place, the fucking stupid sheep or whatever. But like, I mean, even when you look at the other stuff, like the trailer shows... These like piglins flying through the overworld with these chained up ghasts flying them, which if you've played any Minecraft, you automatically know that these are like characters based from the nether. And so like they don't come to the overworld, you know what I mean? They don't live in the overworld. They're not fucking usually invading shit in the overworld unless they like fall through a portal or you drag them through or something. So it, we're just at the point where it doesn't even make any fucking sense. Like if you've actually played the game and you know what's going on, they just kind of took all the shit from the game property itself and just like almost put it in this big fucking blender of money production value and 3D animation and a couple of big names to go alongside it all. And this is like the shit shit paste product that printed out. I mean, I, I really hate to actually even say that because like, I really did want the movie to look decent and actually look like, you know, something that we would come to like, but I mean, that's just not what we've gotten. And I mean, I think it shows what the reaction the trailer's gotten. Like, it just really doesn't make any sense to me because everybody knows what Minecraft is at this point. Like at least in the younger generations, people have either played it or even if they're like not somebody who plays video games, they probably have like a little brother or a little sister that's really into it or like cousins that are into it or maybe they have children of their own that really like Minecraft. You know what I mean? So like everyone knows what this game is, you know, for at least people who are going to go see this movie. And then when you see the movie, it just isn't what people want it to be. It's not actually Minecraft. And this is the mistake I think Think a lot of video game movie adaptations ultimately make, right? Where they try to over impress with like the, the visuals and the production and they want it to, you know, look different than the game and be different than the game. But realistically, that's not really what audiences are looking for. Like when I go to the Minecraft movie, I want to see a fucking Minecraft movie. And what just like doesn't even make sense to me is like they took the worst route with what seems to be the storyline possible. Like apparently these guys that we see in the trailer, Jack Black and everybody, they fall through a portal from real life into the Minecraft world. And it's like, this just has nothing to do with the game. You know, it's just such a cliche, basic, trapped in the video game style story that no one is looking for. Like, if they wanted to, like, go the uh, the route of spinoffs or whatever, like a lot of people are suggesting they tried to do here, they should have just went with something like Minecraft Story Mode. You know what I mean? And that was done a decade ago. And then if they didn't want to do that, they should have just stuck to their guns with the 3D animation and, like, actually focused on making a Minecraft textured game with, like, actual Minecraft-looking characters and Minecraft-looking shit. 
I mean, we already know what this is going to be. It's going to be, you know, this half live action hybrid shit where like people have pointed out in the comments, we already know the kind of fucking stupid humor that we're going to get. Like the creeper popping up behind somebody. Oh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Gulp. And then he gets blown up. Like we're already seeing that coming half a year away, right? The movie isn't even fucking close to out yet. And people already know that one's coming. Someone's going to be fucking mining or something. And they're going to go, uh, you probably shouldn't mine down. And then he's going to be, well, watch this and then he does it and fall we already see this shit coming you know what i mean and it's like they just they wanted it to be like minecraft and then didn't make it like minecraft they they wanted to like almost put a foot into the pool and keep the other one out but it just doesn't make sense in this instance you're not going to captivate an audience by selling it halfway it either needs to be actual like minecrafty shit or why even bother making the movie let's be real now obviously it's because of money it's because they can print money it's a cash machine they're gonna fucking put this out it's still gonna sell millions upon millions of dollars in tickets at the box office It'll eventually go to streaming services and it will be used in promo to try and get people to sign up, right? It, it, it is what it is. But to me, that's not satisfactory. I want it to be a decent movie. Like, if you're going to make some shit like this, at least make it good, man. Make it to where, like, I can watch it and I don't hate what I'm looking at, you know what I mean? And what just really, really, really doesn't make sense to me about it is... This isn't even like some foreign concept in terms of making 3D Minecraft animation. Like there's been people from their basements and bedrooms on YouTube for the last decade that have done it. I mean, I remember back 10 years ago watching the Fallen Kingdom videos and all these, you know, music remixes and stuff by Captain Sparkles and all these guys where they're doing at least decent 3D animation, especially for the time. Like compared to now, these fucking programs were ancient. I mean, there's a point where apparently Warner Brothers offered up $150 million as the budget for this movie. You're telling me Warner Brothers with $150 million in a decade or so to make this movie now? They were incapable of competing animation-wise with people in their fucking bedrooms from a decade ago? I don't know, man. I just don't buy it. They just went the worst way possible with it. And it's shitty because like we're at the point probably in production for this movie. I don't really think they could reverse course now. And that's even if they were interested in it. I mean, like I said, they already know that this is going to sell tickets. They already know that they're going to fucking, you know, get people lining up at the movie theater to see it. Because even if it is just generic garbage slop that realistically no one's probably really going to love, at least you could take your kid to it on the fucking weekend, right? And they could be intrigued by it for a couple hours. That's the way most people are looking at it. They don't give a fuck if this is a masterpiece or if the animation's good, anything like that. But I mean, when you've been a fan of the series and like the, the Minecraft game in general, I mean, like I still play Minecraft every day, pretty much. It's one of those things where it's just like, damn, man, if you're going to make the movie, if you're going to go through this effort, if after all this time of talking about it and rumors, we're finally going to get it. If it's going to go that far, why not just make it the way that it should be, dude? Why not just do it justice? I don't know. Obviously, the money talks and all the bullshit walks, man. So as long as they're going to get money from it, they don't give a fuck. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about it. I mean, it's pretty rare where a movie trailer comes out and it's so bad where I'm like, fuck it. Let's cover it on the channel. But I mean, hey, man, this looks bad. It is what it is. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at Subdoptimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about this terrible Minecraft trailer and signing out. And that's a wrap on this video, but big shout out to my Optimus Nation supporters. You guys are the real MVPs. For $10 a month, you get access to loads of exclusive videos and archived live streams, my members only Minecraft server where you can possibly appear in gameplay, early access to all new uploads, an invitation to the private discord, and much more.